Hey Gainesville Vineyard, Pastor Mike here. Just wanted to send a quick word this afternoon. As you know, we're not having service because Hurricane Irma is on her way to see us. She's already affecting our neighbors down farther south. So I hope you'll join me in praying for everyone affected by this storm. I hope you're safe and hunker down where you're at and have plenty of food and water and, and hopefully still electricity. I know a few of you have lost power already. Hopefully that's not the case. Uh, but I expect most of us will be in the dark here uh, shortly before this is all over. But I am praying for you and praying for all of us. And specifically, I'm praying uh, along the lines of what we've been talking about over the last month. I'm praying that the Spirit will fill us with trust. That we'll trust the Lord through the storm. That we'll trust in each other. Uh, that we'll even trust in our neighbors as we uh, begin the cleanup afterwards. I'm asking the Spirit to fill us with hope. Uh, that we will see the redemptive work of the Spirit come out of this difficulty, uh, that we will have opportunities to participate in spreading hope to others in the days to come. And I'm asking the Spirit to fill us with love, uh, with a deep compassion for our neighbors, uh, for the emergency personnel, for the power company workers and the cleanup workers, for everyone we come in contact with. Uh, I know attentions are running high in several of the places I visited over the last few days and it's good to just be a calming influence, to give a kind word uh, to the people that are working. Those poor cashiers at Publix the other day were really having a hard time. It's good to just smile and be friendly and, and bring the tone down. Uh, there will be many opportunities to love on people, to show compassion and deep affection for everyone in the coming days. I'm praying the Spirit will fill us with divine action-oriented love so that we make the most of those opportunities. I've seen some posts on Facebook, and you may have seen them as well. People saying, well, the, you know, God's sending the hurricane for this reason or for that reason. I just want to say a quick word about that. Uh, we don't participate in any of that. If people ask you why these things happen, and that's the question folks ask, what we say is we don't know. We don't know why these things happen. Uh, it's not God punishing anyone or anything like that. Uh, hurricanes like this have been happening for as long as anyone can remember. Uh, Hurricane Donna, the famous one that happened 10 years before I was born, hit exactly on this day 57 years ago, and it was about as strong and took pretty much the same path. Um, what we know is that Jesus doesn't tell us why these things happened. He said there was a, a tower that fell, and they asked, you know, well, who did this? Like, no, the tower just fell down. You know, the disciples asked, who sinned this man or his parents that he was born blind? He said, no, it's not like that. Jesus doesn't tell us why these things happen. He tells us what to do about them when they do happen. So um, hopefully we'll press into that and not play games with what we think God thinks or what God's up to. We don't do stuff like that. We just participate in the work of loving people and moving the kingdom forward. And hey, also take time to enjoy uh, the power and the fierce beauty of this world that God has made. Uh, Amy and the kids and I are enjoying it so far. The rain, the wind, uh, the board games, uh, they've been baking muffins and cookies, uh, stocking up uh, while the power lasts, um, and uh, having a good time. You know, as a kid, I used to hear the old timers joke about uh, tying themselves to the chimney. So <laughs> the safest place in this house is actually our master bedroom closet, which backs up to the chimney, to the fireplace here. So we, uh, we're making a pallet in there. We're going to have a, a, a family hurricane slumber party tonight. Uh, and just try to enjoy it and make the best of it. So we're hoping to stay safe and enjoy this day together, and I hope you're able to do the same. We're going to start our series uh, on the fruits of the Spirit next week instead of today. I will save that sermon. I won't preach it now. Uh, I'll keep this video short for you. Uh, but I want to finish uh, just by reading again to you what I read you last week, the fruits of the Spirit, Galatians 5, verses 22 and following, uh, from Eugene Peterson's translation. This is what Peterson said. What happens when we live God's way? He brings gifts into our lives, much the same way that fruit appears in an orchard. Things like affection for others, exuberance about life, serenity. We develop a willingness to stick with things, a sense of compassion in the heart, and a conviction that a basic holiness permeates things and people. We find ourselves involved in loyal commitments, not needing to force our way in life able to marshal and direct our energies wisely. Legalism is helpless in bringing this about. It only gets in the way. Among those who belong to Christ, everything connected with getting our own way and mindlessly responding to what everyone else calls necessities is killed off for good, crucified. 
Since this is the kind of life we have chosen, the life of the Spirit, let us make sure that we do not just hold it as an idea in our heads or a sentiment in our hearts, but work out its implication in every detail of our lives. That means we will not compare ourselves with each other as if one of us were better and another worse. We have far more interesting things to do with our lives. Each of us is an original. My hope and prayer is that each of us will bear these fruits of the Spirit in the aftermath of Irma. Let's show Gainesville how much God loves them. Let's show them how much we love them. I'm also praying that each of us stay safe through this. If you need anything, please give me a call. Uh, my number is 919-946-8615. I'm not sure what I'll be able to do, uh, but I will do what I can and uh, we'll try to get through this together. I also want to know that you're safe afterwards. So once Irma's gone, if you can please send me a text or a Facebook message or give me a call. and Just let me know that you're okay. We want to make sure that we're able to check up on everyone in our church. Make sure everyone's doing well. If you need anything after the fact, uh, let me know and uh, we'll marshal together and you know, cut up limbs and, and use chainsaws and have a good time. So stay safe. I'm praying for you. Let's pray for each other. And may God's blessings be upon us and our neighbors through this storm and afterwards. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.